الحمد لله رب العالمين وصلى الله وسلم على نبينا محمد وعلى عليه وصحبه وسلم أما بعد حبيت في الله Islam encourages us to preserve our tongues and our private parts, meaning to protect ourselves from the sinfulness of the tongue, speaking in sinful ways, cursing, backbiting, slander, all kind of evil talk, and protecting our private parts, meaning protecting ourselves from zina, masturbation, and all those sins that emanate from the private parts. And the people who can preserve their honor and preserve their Islam and fear the Shubahat, that they are the people who possess the beneficial traits which will benefit them on Yom Al Qiyamah. The Prophet said, Ma min shayin athkulu fi mizan al mu'min Yom Al Qiyamah min husnu khuk wa inna allaha yubghidu al fahishal. The Prophet ﷺ said, There isn't a thing which weighs heavier on the scale of a believer's, uh, heavier on the scale on the day of judgment than good manners. And verily, Allah hates wicked and sinful speech. Look at how the, that in that hadith, that those two traits, ta'ala, they evad one another. They, 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 go against one another. That on one hand, the good traits, that there won't be a thing which is heavier on the scale of the believer on the Day of Judgment than good manners. And then, so what's the opposite? And verily law hates wicked and sinful speech. Letting us know wicked and sinful speech is the opposite. It's outside of those traits. And I think there's no mystery in that. The Prophet ﷺ said when he was passing by the graves about people being punished, punished in the graves. Why were they punished in the graves? For two things. One was speaking nimi, spreading nimima, subhanAllah. How many of us are engaged in spreading nimima? And what is nimima? As some of the ulama mentioned, it's spreading tales around the community with the intention of spreading wickedness. So their qast. In fact, some of the people today, they say that their intention is to spread Islam and protect people from Ahl Bid'ah. And they claim that they're doing it and spreading things, even if they haven't affirmed whether that information is true, they spread it with the same aim, supposedly protecting the deen. But in fact, you'll find so much hezbiya, so many people do that in order to win favor with other people, to win, other win favor with their clique and their group, to other in order to win favor with those people who share the same ideology, the same ideology, same way of thinking, the same set of norms and belief systems, even if it goes against the etiqad or the menhaj of Ahl Sunnati wal Jama'ah the creed or the minhaj, the methodology of Ahl Sunnati wal Jama'ah. What is, uh, and in that hadith, the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said, He said, verily they're being punished in the grave, and they're not being punished for something which the people think, you know, for something the people think is light. Verily one of them, in ahadakum, Verily, one of them, they didn't clean them, their private parts uh, when they went to the restroom properly, or they spilt urine or najasa on their garments, or they failed to do make istinja, period. And as for the second uh, person, is they used to do namima. And we already explained what namima is. Ahabatifillah. <laughs> What has been said, and what's being said, and what has been said for countless years about so many du'at. We can think of so many people who were known for calling to the Book of Allah and the Sunnah of the Messenger of Allah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam and traversing the madhab of Ahl Sunnah, the minhaj of Ahl Sunnah. But others were displeased with him for various reasons of the dunya mostly. Or perhaps an individual might fall into error. We're not talking about someone on a different minhaj. 
We're talking about people in the same minhaj, the same ulama, but they differ you with you in a mas'ala. They have made a mistake in an issue, in an issue or a mistake on their tongue, and quickly you race to push them from the sunnah of the Messenger of Allah from the boundaries of Ahlul Sunnah wal Jama'ah. And this is a dangerous and wicked trait. What does Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala say about the tongue? Qala subhanahu wa ta'ala, Ya ayuladheena amanu wa taqullaha wa qulu qulun sadeeda yuslihakum a'malakum wa yaghfir lakum dhunubukum man yut'illaha wa rasooluhu fakal faza fawzan azeema. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, O you who believe, this is addressing you, Salafiyun, this is addressing you, Ahli Iman. Ya ayuladheena amanu wa taqullaha, fear Allah. Fear Allah is what? Fearing Allah is adhering to His commandments and avoiding His prohibitions. One of His prohibitions is namima and ghiba. Ya ayyuladheena amanu wa taqallaha wa qulu qulun sadeeda And say right, uh, uh, truthful speech. Wa qulu qulun sadeeda Don't lie. You don't have to lie to belittle someone. You don't have to lie to belittle someone to make yourself seem bigger. Wa qulu qulun sadeeda Yuslih lakum a'malakum He will rectify your, your deeds. Wa yaghfir lakum dhunubukum More importantly, he will give you forgiveness for your sins. Who doesn't need forgiveness for their sins? The Prophet said, All the children of Adam make mistakes, and the best of those who sin and make mistakes are the Tawabun, are those who, 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 who make repentance to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. يَغْفِرْ لَكُمْ ذُنُوبُكُمْ مَنْ يُتْعِي اللَّهَ وَرَسُولُهُ فَقَدْ فَازَ فَوْزًا عَظِيمًا فَقَدْ فَوْزَ فَقَدْ فَازَ فَوْزًا عَظِيمًا So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, And whoever obeys Allah and His Messenger then they have achieved the great success. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, Fikitab al-Kareem, Ya ayyuladheena amanu ajtanibu kathirun min al-dhan, inna ba'd al-dhan ithum. Wala tajasizu wala yagtab ba'dukum ba'dha, atuhibbu ahadukum an ya'kala lahma akhihi maytan, fakarahtamuhu, wattaqu allaha, inna allaha tawab al-Rahim. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, Fikitab al-Kareem, O you who believe, again Allah is addressing the believers, O oh, you who believe, be aware, uh, be away from all of the vun, all the suspicion. Stay away from suspicion. Verily, uh, verily, uh, b being suspicious of each other is sin. Well, I tajasitu, and do not spy. Well, I yagtab, and do not backbite one another. Do, do you prefer to eat the, 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 the meat? Uh, the, the, the meat of your dead brother to eat his, his dead flesh, his flesh? Allah says, rather you, you hate it. Who wants to eat that? I mean, literally. And even figuratively. And then he says, Fear Allah, verily Allah is oft forgiving, most merciful, subhanAllah. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in Kitab al-Kareem, وَلَذِينَ يُغْذُونُ الْمُؤْمِنِينَ وَالْمُؤْمِنَاتِ بِغَيْرَ مَا اَكْتَسَبُوا فَقَدْ اَحْتَمَلُوا بُحْتَانًا وَإِثْمًا بُحْتَانًا وَإِثْمًا مُبِينًا Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in Kitab al-Kareem, And those who cause harm to the believing men and believing women without them having earned that, meaning they didn't earn that, but you just backbited, you just slandered, you just cursed them, you just attacked their honor. Then you you gain, or then you have you have done major sinful, uh, you know, lying and, and, and falsification and clear sin. Ahabatifillah. If this isn't enough for us to be silent about getting into affairs and attacking people's honor, I don't know what is. The Prophet وسلم, said, Al Muslim man salama Muslimun min lisani wa yadi. The Muslim is the one who the Muslims are safe from his tongue and his hand. And in another narration, this was in uh, Muslim, in another narration, and the Rajala Sa'ala Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. A man asked the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wa Alaihi Wasallam, Are you Muslimin Khair? Which Muslimin, which of the Muslims are the best? 
قال من سلم مسلم من لسانه ويده whoever the one who the Muslims are safe from his hand and his tongue Hafiz ibn Hajr rahimahullah ta'ala he said in explaining this hadith he said well hadith am bi nisba ila lisan duni yad لأن اللسان يمكن هو القول في الماضية والموجودين والحادثين بعد بخلاف اليد نعم يمكن أن تشارك اللسان في ذلك بكتابة وأن أثرها في ذلك ليعظيم حفظ بن هجر رحمه الله تعالى said this hadith is general it's general in relation to the tongue uh, and, and without the uh, without uh, or inclusive of the yet uh, inclusive of the hand because and, and you know with more emphasis on the on the tongue he said because however the the tongue that maybe you speak about someone in the past you know you're speaking ill of someone in the past or someone who's present or someone who will be, uh, you know, who will come later that you're speaking ill about them or get, incurring sin in this fashion. And he said, and this differs from the, uh, from the hand. And then he says, yes, he says, perhaps that a person, uh, the tongue and, and the hand can share in writing ill about someone. Meaning, because you, you, this is a type of kalam, it's a type of speech you're articulating that it could be articulating sin and he said that the the effect of it is even greater by writing ill about people look at the people on the internet just making videos and and assassinating character of the dua of Ahlul Sunnah the Prophet Sallallahu said من يضمن لي من بين اللهي وما بين رجلي أضمن له الجنة the Prophet ﷺ said, whoever can safeguard uh, that which is between their private part, yeah, their their you know, their private parts and their 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 basically their tongue, their mouth, then I guarantee for him Jannah. So look at the reward we get when we're silent about fitna and about speaking about individuals, especially without the haq, without the right to do so. Abi Huraira radiallahu ta'ala anhu said that Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam man kana yu'minu billahi wal yawm al-akhir falyaqul khayran wa liyasmat the prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said whoever believes in Allah in the day of judgment so this is for those who believe in Allah in the day of judgment then say something good or be silent Imam Anawi said about this and he said, he, uh, said that Imam Shafi'i said the meaning of this hadith is that if someone wants to speak, that he should think. For you think uh, For verily, there is no harm if they keep silent, if they don't speak. But meaning if they do speak in a hurry, in a rash way, there's harm. And if it appears that there is harm or that you doubt, you're not sure, there's doubtfulness, fihi imsak. Then he should be silent. So letting us know that this hadith illustrates for us that if you don't have anything good to say, as a mu'min, as a believer in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, keep silent. That doesn't mean you need, every time there's a fitna, you need to get involved, you need to speak, you need to, and you need to, Spread and be a part of the fitna instead of the resolution, instead of the rectification. Of course, if you're rectifying, then it fits under the hadith of the Prophet Muslim. In the hadith of Sahih Muslim, the Prophet said, Whoever sees a wickedness, then change it with his hand. If he's unable to do so, then change it with his Tongue, speak out against it. If he's not able to do it, change it with his heart. That's the weakest of Iman. Abba the reason 
I'm mentioning this is because I saw it came, uh, people sent it to me because I don't go on the internet and look at these things at all. On the YouTube, I don't. I spend more time looking at MMA and things like this than I do at people just fitna and discord and disharmony or even uh, attacking people's character and, and things like this. I just try to benefit from the ulama. It's, it's more healthier for the heart. But I saw something, someone was sent to me about Tahir sits with Ahl al Tahir Wyatt, who's a known da'i to Kitabi Allah wa Sunnah Rasul sallallahu alayhi wa alayhi wa sallam ala minhaj salaf al-salih. And Shaykhana Imam Salih Suhaimi wa kathir kathir min ulama, khasitin fi Ahl al-Medina, some of the ulama in Ahl al-Medina, they know Tahir very well. However, because some people, for various reasons, and we don't have to go into the people's intentions. We don't have to say they're jealous. We don't have to say this. We don't have to say this. But we've heard enough statements to know that there's something wrong and going on in order to spend so much time assassinating this man's character when this man has done so much good and brought so many of the students and people, uh, helped them in their studies and, 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 and meeting Mashiach and having sittings with the Mashiach from America and from around the world. But what I wanted to mention without specifically going into that scenario, and I was able to speak to him about it, but that's neither here nor there, is one, is when people go around making these videos, you have to ask yourself. For one, most of these people are not students of knowledge. Students of knowledge have no time for that. Making fancy videos to assassinate people's character, especially in a kind of a Mickey Mouse way, Students of knowledge really don't have that time, so I don't know every time we see these new videos that come out and then they post them on big websites to attack the, char the, the characters of the brothers, we don't really know uh, who these people are. But one of the important things that we have to learn, which is from the Qa'id of Islam, and the ulama constantly reiterate this Qa'idah, is that we should make excuses for Ahl Sunnah. That if you see a person of the Sunnah, for example, given a conference, if they were given a conference or if they were doing this or doing this, make excuse for your brother because you know he has 20 years, 30 years on the Sunnah calling people to khair, doing this. Ask him. It's not necessary to make a, a video and make a poster and, and say that he's with his true companions and say this and say this, uh, Muhammad Munir this, this one this, this one this. SubhanAllah. People are known, known to the ulama and known for khair. But everyone wants to destroy the khair. And I'm not sure all the reasons for that. Well, long as that. So the people never make excuses for people from Ahl Sunnah, known for the Sunnah. We're not talking about people whose usul is muqtadiyah. But in, uh, likewise, we only see that majhul, people who are unknown, make these kind of videos and stuff like this with their kunyas and false names and then they, you know, they don't ever stand up and stand strong. Let us know who you are. We want to know, are you a student of knowledge and you have legitimate criticisms based on Kitab Allah wa Sunnah to Rasul Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam and the Qawaiid of the religion, then we, we can only accept it if it's Sahih, uh, correct istidlal, it's correct uh, implementation of those ayat and those hadith and those uh, principles of the religion. Then we, have, we accept that. We can accept that. And we're always open to constructive cr criticism, and that which is based on khair. Likewise, Ahabatifillah, you find that known enemies of du'at will stand on the minbar and post on their Twitter accounts and all this and say, we told you so, in order to aid in destroying these people's character. Instead, they should be the first, even if they have beef with a dai, if they have issues with him. Make sure the issues are sound Islamic issues. And do not make it an issue of al wala wal bara My group against your group. My hizb against your hizb. This is the dangerous sickness that we've, we've incorporated. Likewise, most of these people who involve themselves in this, they don't know anything about mafasid or masaleh, you know, the benefits and the harms in these issues. Because a lot of these issues, whether it be hajj or ahl bid'ah, whether it be whatever the case may be, most everything on the harms and the benefits, those principles in the religion. That's the underlying principles. 
And that Masayu and Mufasid is determined by Kitab and Sunnah. It's governed by the Book of Allah and the Sunnah of the Rasul Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. And the ulama are the most people who have the most fit to implement those principles. May you know the law will be khayr and yifakul fideen. Whatever Allah wants good for a person, He gives them understanding of the religion. Kama qala Nabi Sallallahu Alaihi wa Alaihi Wasallam. I'm going to end. Imam, you know, Imam Dhahabi said, وَخَلَامْ فِي رِجَالْ لَا يَجُوزْ إِلَّا لِتَمَامْ الْمَعْرِفَةِ وَتَامْ الْوَرَعِ That speaking about individuals, speaking about people, you know, he's talking about the ruat and so forth. But in general, it takes being humble. It's not with arrogance that you speak about people, that you belittle people, but it actually should be from humility. It should be that you are fearing the law, you are defending the religion of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala from the harms of this individual, or from them spreading harm and bid'ah to the people. And what bid'ah and harm are many of the du'a of the sunnah spreading? They spread khair, but you see a mistake, or you see something you believe is a mistake, and you rush to destroy them in their honor. Also having ma'rifah, having ilm. You need knowledge to be able to enter into these affairs. As how many of the ulama contemporary and in the past said, this is not a place for the average person. So if you're not a, at least a student of knowledge who's grounded in these issues, you shouldn't even involve yourself in those affairs. And in fact, it really is reserved more so for the ulama or at least students of knowledge that are grounded in those abwab, because even students of knowledge can be grounded in many abwab, but maybe those things they're not comfortable with. Maybe those things they don't have the azim and determination. Maybe those things they have a weakness in, or they choose not to get involved in those things. And that's no nux on their part. That's not a shortcoming on their part. Shaykh al Abdul Masin al Abad said, أَنْ يَتَقِيَ اللَّهُ مَنْ اشْتَغَلَ نَفْسُهُ بِتَجْرِيَ الْعُلَمَاءِ وَالطَّالِبَةِ الْعِلْمِ وَتَحْذِيرْ مِنْهُمْ فَيَشْتَغْلُ بِالْبَحْثِ عَنْ عَنْ عَيُوبِهِ لِتُخَلَّسْ مِنْهَا بَدَلًا مِنْ اشْتِغَالْ بِعُيُوبِ الْآخِرِينَ Shaykh and Shaykh Abdul Masin said Fear Allah It's on these people to fear Allah That they busy themselves or he busies himself with criticizing the scholars and the students of knowledge and warning against them and making research you know, into their sins. How many people they spend time and time going through the videos of du'at and then they cut and they paste and they put it together. They put pictures and they do this, subhanAllah, plastic surgery and behoof, they do proper behoof into the kalam just to find mistakes. And they busy themselves with, uh, with looking at their faults and sins. And it's better that they should work on themselves instead. And, uh, and busy on their own shortcomings and sins instead of the sins of, the, of others. SubhanAllah. We don't, we don't hear that. We, we, we're busying ourselves with what we want. And I'm going to end on this last statement. Sheikh Saleh Sahini said, our Sheikh, Hafidullah Ta'ala, قال, ليس من السلفية أفرح بعيوب الناس, بعيب الناس. It's not from Salafia to be happy with the mistakes or shortcomings of the people. وتجريه him and criticizing them. وسعي فيه لغير حاجة وعلى طال وعلى طالب العلم تجنب الخوض فيه he said and criticizing him and striving to uh, you know to, to find their mistakes and criticize them unless there's a necessity unless there's a necessity and so it's upon the student of knowledge to avoid getting in, involved in these affairs immersing themselves in these affairs وَتَرْقَ الْأَمْرِ بِيَدْ أَهْلِ الْعِلْمِ Leave these affairs to the scholars, to Ahl al-Ilm. فَلَا تَسَبَّبْ 
في إش في إشعال الفتنة. Don't be the reason that fitna spreads. وقد عوارها and make and that you be the reason for it becoming more and stronger fitna. Bell. يخمد الفتنة بإتزاله. Put out the fitna by avoiding it, by being away from it. By إزاله نارها. By putting out the fire of fitna. Putting it out. Put it out. Be subtle by being patient. وظل الحسن. And having a good image of the people. Not it's the opposite of suspicion. Being pes being optimistic about people. وَأَنْ يُوَقَّلَ الْأَمْرَ لِأَهْلَ الْأَمْرَ And give the affair to the people of knowledge. If we were to do that, subhanAllah, instead of spending our time making videos about du'a ta khair and leaving ahlul bid al those people who are purely mubtadi'a who call to uh, liberalism who call to accepting gay marriage in Islam who call to uh, making khuruj 40 days and doing this and doing that who call to uh, major politi uh, po uh, politics like akhwan muslimin or we spend very little time talking about them in the Khawarij, but we spend countless hours, days, months, and hours making in detailed high-tech videos about our brothers from Ahl Sunnah. So we have to prioritize in fear of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And we ask for Allah the Almighty to accept our good and forgive our evil. Anything I said that was correct is from Allah Azza wa Jal. Anything I said that was incorrect was from myself and the Shaitan. And may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala protect our brother Tahir from the Shayateen, from in, uh, men and jinn. And may Allah protect all the dua to khair. All those people who are calling the Kitab Allah wa Sunnah to Rasul sallallahu alayhi wa sallam uh, with the Fahim and the Salaf and Salaf. May Allah protect them. May Allah preserve them. May Allah raise them. May Allah strengthen them. And may Allah bless us to be in their company. Amin ya Rabbil Alameen. And may Allah guide our brothers. Our brothers who are who throw away the principles in Islam. And may Allah guard our brothers who go beyond the bounds in our extreme, have the ghulu, tajawaz al had make kathra to take tabdi wa tabdi wa takfir wa ta wa tafsik of people. Amin ya Rabbil Alameen wa sallallahu alayhi wa sallam ala Nabiya Muhammad.